Welcome back. Today we'll be covering the Helix command, which quickly creates personalized spirals to add to your designs. The function is located under the Center Icons drop-down menu in the Draw section of the Home tab on the ribbon. When selected, you'll be prompted to specify an axis position, meaning where your spiral or helix begins. Then, you'll select a base radius or diameter by either clicking on a position in the drawing window or typing a specific length into the command window. You'll then define the top radius, diameter, or spiral of your helix, and then press Enter. If you select Spiral, you'll be asked for a pitch, which is the distance between the revolutions in your spiral design. Lastly, DraftSide offers four drawing options. First is the Axis Endpoint option. This transforms your spiral into a straight helix, which you can make as long as you want. Keep in mind that unless you choose axis endpoint, your drawing will be a circular spiral rather than a vertical helix shape. The next option allows you to change the direction of your spiral to clockwise or counterclockwise. Lastly, the final two options are pitch and revolution, which do exactly what their name suggests. Revolutions are numbers of times your spiral loops around, and the pitch is the distance between those revolutions, as mentioned previously. I hope this post encourages you to include Helix commands in your daily draft site designs. If you're looking to learn more, visit the blog page or visit draftsite.com.